the EU-funded FP7 space project Provi Scout brought together 11 research institutions and companies from six European countries. Over a period of 30 months, the project aimed to prototype the robotics vision building blocks that will be required by future autonomous exploration systems on Mars. The algorithms developed for onboard scientific target selection and autonomous navigation were tested in a field trial at the end of the project. The field trial was held in the Mars-like landscape of El Tide National Park in Tenerife during the month of September 2012. After four days of travelling through Europe and crossing the Atlantic Ocean by ferry, Idris arrived safely in Tenerife. The first few trial days were devoted to preparatory work. A wireless network was set up for communication between Idris and the control center, which was located in the rover's van. A set of computer hardware components and vision sensors were mounted on Idris. These included a pan tilt unit equipped with two wide angle cameras a high-resolution camera and two hyperspectral cameras, one for near-infrared and one for visible light. The two wide-angle cameras on the pan-tilt unit were to capture stereo panoramas of the rover's environment that would be used for target detection and visual odometry. The same data would also be used to generate digital terrain models for path planning and rover navigation. The high-resolution camera and the hyperspectral cameras would be used to collect more detailed image data of anything detected as a potential region of interest. After some necessary sensor calibration, Idris was ready for action. Software components delivered by four different project partners were integrated to form the onboard processing system Provis C. Testing and modifying the individual components and their software interfaces took most of the trial time. Despite this testing activity, during the trial it was sometimes necessary to avoid hazardous situations by stopping the rover manually. To verify the navigated path and the generated 3D data of the work area, an overview digital terrain model with georeferenced coordinates was generated. To make this possible, more than 80 GPS-measured white landmarks were placed in the terrain, creating a photogrammetric network along the rover's planned route. Overlapping aerial images of the terrain and markers were then used to create a 3D reconstruction. The aerial images were captured by an aerobot, which is a small robotic platform suspended from a helium balloon and which is equipped with a downward-facing high-resolution camera. On press day, local and national press were invited to the test site. Many TV and radio crews, journalists and tourists visited the site to see Idris and the Provi Scout team. Idris and a smaller rover called Indy were driven around for the cameras near the parking area. At the same time, interviews were given by Gerhard Parr, the project coordinator from Your Name Research, and Alberto Medina, a Spanish colleague from GMV. An EU officer and the RIA reviewer were present during the last two trial days for the final on-site demonstration. During the demonstration, the rover was required to navigate autonomously between three given waypoints. A start point, an intermediate stop and an end point. Each section of the route was at least 30 meters in length. At a maximum speed of 20 centimeters per second, Idris followed its planned route, scanning the terrain meter by meter and constantly updating its 3D map and navigation path. Due to a lack of geologically interesting Mars-like rocks along the traverse, some artificial targets were prepared and placed near the second waypoint to be detected by the science assessment component of Provisi. These targets were detected as potential regions of interest, which led to Idris's onboard system reacting and trying to get closer to the targets to capture high-resolution image data. The whole mission was controlled remotely from the control center situated in the van. 
a real-time 3D visualization system enabled operators to monitor Idris and its behavior at the test site. During the field trial, a live web stream on the Provi Scout website was used to broadcast the 3D visualization, a display of information from the overseer component, and a video feed of the rover itself as viewed from an on site webcam. Provi Scout demonstrated the ability to combine the search for scientific targets with rover navigation. This is an important step to enable more capable future European rover missions to Mars and beyond.